Welcome back from the break. Now, the Ghana Health Service has indicated it is tightening and reviewing existing measures to avert further COVID-19 outbreaks. In a statement released by the service, it hinted it is collaborating with the Ministry of Health to monitor the country's specific measures to address the current threat of COVID-19, especially with respect to importation. Health experts say it has become crucial to get vaccinated if you haven't or if you are yet to complete the vaccination process. We hear from a virologist shortly, but first, how's the country's outlook? Let's share with you uh, what the country is doing now. Now, if you look at it, the total COVID-19 vaccines administered so far is 21,400,539. That's 69.5 percent of the total Ghanaian population. Um, that's, uh, uh, you know, a data put out by, by the Ghana Health Service. A again, uh, if we are letting you understand where we do stand, persons receiving at least one dose of vaccines, we have 12,163,179 people who have received at least one dose of vaccines, representing 67.1% of the 18.2 million target. That is also 38.6% of the total Ghanaian population who have uh, so far gotten at least one. Persons who have fully va been vaccinated, we have 9,183,560, representing 50.3% of the 18.2 million target um, or targeted population that have to be vaccinated. That also represents 28.9% of uh, the uh, targeted population that needs to be vaccinated. Again, persons receiving first booster dose we have 2,744,852. Uh, people who have received the first booster dose. So that's where we do stand as a country in terms of you know whatever we're doing to help uh, uh, curtail the spread of this vi this uh, virus. Well, virologist Dr. Michael Owusu says this is the right time to get vaccinated if you intend to stay safe. He spoke to my colleague Brisa Soga earlier on pause. The variants in China are not different from what we are seeing elsewhere. These are these are the same and similar variant. There is only one which is called the BF7, which we have not yet recorded in Ghana. But I don't think it will change the picture even if we are to have the case in Ghana. It appears that the cases we are seeing in China seem to be circulating within unvaccinated populations who are overly um, elderly and above 60 years of age. These are people who are having severe impact of this disease. And because of their relaxation of their COVID-19 zero policy, where they are opening up and then and getting people to mix up. So these are people who have been naive to the virus for a prolonged period of time. And therefore, uh, they are becoming newly exposed to the virus. And this is where they, um, this is why they are having the, the significant impact. So personally, I, I, I don't see that this will introduce a wave of infection in a place like Ghana, but it's too early. Uh, if, if the variants seem to change and we have something new happen, then of course you can make the prediction, but based on the evidence now, as we are seeing in China and many other areas, it appears the same virus circulating and, and it's because of their naive population uh, and that, that is why they are seeing this. So I don't think we should be looking at restrictions in Ghana as we have seen before. I think that people should be encouraged to vaccinate and to be able to I mean, promote and encourage a point where people are more immune, so that in case we have some of the BF7 enter the country, you wouldn't have significant impact like we are seeing in many other countries. Now, relatedly, if you are traveling into Ghana from China, then be prepared to present a valid negative COVID-19 PCR test result before being allowed into the country. That's according to the Ghana Airport Company, as it tightens measures to reduce the spread of COVID-19 virus. This was contained in a statement released earlier on new guidelines to be implemented at the Kotoka International Airport. Now, let's give you the full details of the statement. It says, um, now, this is for travelers intending to enter Ghana. All persons arriving in Ghana who are fully vaccinated will be exempted from any form of testing done either prior to boarding from originating country or on arrival in Ghana, except passengers originating their journey from China. Now, passengers originating their journey from China will be required to present a valid negative COVID-19 PCR test result 48 hours prior to departure from our originating country, that's China, says passengers undergo mandatory COVID-19 testing on arrival at the Kotoka International Airport at no cost. Now, um, still on, on the measures that have been put out by the Ghana Airport Company, it says... 
all other passengers originating their journey from elsewhere other than China who are partially vaccinated or unvaccinated will be required to present a valid negative COVID-19 PCR test result 48 hours prior to departure from originating country. Such passengers will be required to undergo mandatory COVID-19 testing on arrival at the Kotaka International Airport at no cost. Airlines that bring passengers to Kotaka International Airport who are not fully vaccinated or passengers originating their journey from China without a valid negative COVID-19 PCR test result 48 hours prior to departure will would be surcharged $3,500. So that's uh, for uh, airlines that will be bringing in passengers who are not uh, you know, vaccinated from China. Now, for people who are only transiting through Ghana, those passengers uh, and, and who are transferring through Kotaka International Airport will be required to fully adhere to COVID-19 testing requirement at the destination countries. So that's for people who will be moving through uh, you know, Kotoka, not necessarily entering the country. So now there are exemptions. Children less than 18 years of age are exempt from mandatory vaccination pre-departure to PCR testing and testing on arrival in Ghana. Passengers who arrive under emergency circumstances, such as diverted flight, will not be required to undergo testing if they do not leave the airport or remain in isolation in their hotel. So that's uh, the exemptions there. Now, what about wearing of nose masks? It says, wearing of nose mask is recommended in all airport terminals and ancillary buildings. So that's... Um, from the Ghana Airport Company. Again, they continue about, uh, to talk about vaccination. All passengers must present a valid COVID-19 vaccination certificate showing that they were fully vaccinated at least 14 days before embarkation, except partially vaccinated or unvaccinated Ghanaians who are required to present a negative 48 hours PCR test result to the airline before embarkation and to port health upon arrival. So when is this whole uh, thing or th these uh, requirements going to begin? The effective date is 7th January 2023 um, at uh, 12 o'clock a.m. So that's uh, when these will begin. Now, meanwhile, a member of the Health Committee of Parliament, Charles Agbeve, has applauded the Ghana Airport Company for swift action it has implemented. When did this strike? Um pandemic strike. It doesn't know diplomacy. <laughs> Let me just go to the layman's street language. What does diplomacy got to do with the pandem pandemic spreading into your country? We are not in the position to allow our economy to go into the kind of crisis we've been into. We cannot afford it. Listen, look, I'm happy and extremely happy the Ghana Health Service has been very proactive in taking this decision. I was talking to Dr. Bequin, the Public Health Director at the Ghana Health Service. He and the DG, the Director General, are at the airport today. Today, second. They are there making sure that what you just read as the um, new policy guidelines or directives to passengers have been implemented fully. And what I'm even more excited about is something we've all been talking about, that the Ghana Health Service should take over the testing of passengers at the Ghana airports. Gradually, they are moving towards that direction. And that is why it is free. But I'm very excited that these particular proactive measures have been put in place because listen, what is happening in China, when you monitor, almost all countries are are actually asking passengers coming from China. Before you enter, you must do the testing or you will quarantine. I've seen Australian pass that, uh, uh, that uh, uh, policy statement. I've seen the European Union, even before Sweden takes over the European Union presidency, is tabling something on that already. And so it's become an international issue. And so Ghana cannot take the chance. Now, earlier, some Ghanaians who spoke to join us pleaded with the government to put in place measures to prevent the virus from springing up in the nation after China lifted all restrictions related to COVID-19. 
Um, what I think is the government should be able to track all those that are gone outside to import goods. You see, she should be able to track them. Those going to China, those going to other countries. So whilst he's tracking them, the countries that the sickness or the virus is prone to, he should try as much as possible and put them in control. And when they are back, they should still quarantine those people. He should really track them. If the government doesn't have a system that is tracking people that have gone outside to import goods, then I don't think the government is doing a better job. So that's what I think they should do, so that all these people will be in check. Then they don't continue spreading the virus in Ghana. Uh, okay, well, what I can say is that uh, since there's COVID-19 in the system again, the government have to do restriction like the nose mask have it compulsory once again, and the vaccination at the airport have to retake again. So anyone coming from China, if goes, they have to go through the protocol. And the way it will already be done at the airport. So the government have to do a lot of discussion. Like no smiles have to be compulsory once again. And at the airport, and everyone have to be vaccinated in and out. So that's what I think I can say about it. Thank you very much. People going from China to go and uh, get us some goods. I think the COVID-19 need to be prevent even before coming to Ghana. If they need to be secure themselves over there, if even go, it, it, it has to take the government more times to even quarantine them, say so you know you have to do that, because they, we don't need it again here. It's over and over in Africa with the quarantine and with COVID. Eh, we are over, so we don't need them when they are coming. We just we are praying that the government should make sure to prevent them and quarantine them for some time. You know we don't need it here again. We have already given quarantine a bye-bye. We don't need it in Ghana. So we are begging that we are appealing to the government to take good care of those who that they are coming from the outside, those they are coming from China. Government need to secure them, quarantine them, make sure they are okay before coming to the even the Agus, the government need to take care of it before. Okay. So as uh, we all know these days how the corona has once again lifted at the China Ghanaians, what we have to do or what the government have to do to prevent this very uh, corona issue because when it came, everybody suffered, especially Ghana, we suffered a lot and it's still, we all know, we've still even not uh, recovered from the hardship and the, a whole lot of things we went through. So since this thing has started again in China, the best thing for me, government have to do, if possible, the goods that uh, the traders have been going to bring from China, if the government can do anything, especially bringing it for them, so that uh, they will not go there and contact the, 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 the sickness. So it will be better. And if people still, will, because I know Ghanaians, a lot of people too, still, they will insist, they wanted to go by themselves. So if they are going to, they need to take the measures serious, like to be prevented. So they should be very careful careful in extra by putting on their noses, washing their hands as we used to do before. So those are the thoughts of some Ghanaians on what government needs to do to ensure that COVID-19 is kept under check. Now